Insert generic greeting here. Hey, I'm Lemon and I've produced YouTube content for almost two years now. And frankly, the videos I did fit into so many different categories that even I struggle sometimes naming all the genres I have content in. Which is usually why I call my channel Grabbox, and I would claim there's something for everyone to find. So one of my roommates had like a carrying stick. I don't know why, but he took that to pick up the underwear full of feces. So now I'm working on a new format, which I would call Travel Story Times. Most of these content creators did not do any research on the matter. Jakawa ju paruski bol je lemenja hašo. Paramušta ja iso čalo ruski tri goda v univerzitetje. Honestly, if I would live here, I would probably hang out around here all the time, because it's just beautiful. We're currently in Montreal, which is a tiny medieval village that I didn't even know about a few days ago. And it's honestly really beautiful. We're still, I don't know how far away because none of the signs actually tell us how far we are away, which is great, obviously. Hey guys, and welcome to Cooking with Lemon. Yes. <laughs> Today I'm here with Svea, and we have New Zealand Dian. New Zealand Dian, can you hear <laughs> New Zealand Dian? New Zealand dish? <laughs> I don't think that's a word. In a weird chain of events, we decided to make a video about sorting out the candy I have. I don't. Uh... What is my channel anymore? <laughs> so, this one is really fun. We ordered a bunch of pouches that basically look like toothpaste. This is literally what I ex was expecting with all of this. Oh my god, these are so freaking cool. Sushi me rolling. <laughs> And the immediate response I got is that it would be illegal to fly over the lake because it's a protected nature area. And I was not aware of that, we didn't see the signs until right after she said that, which is pretty ironic. And that's when I saw the freaking drone underneath a tree. I definitely, like, moving on, have to find a better solution for this because it feels kind of uneven. Okay, I took off way too much, that's fantastic. And... I like going against the grain. That sounds like I'm just wearing this to be not like other girls. <laughs> oh my god, that was so good! <laughs> I have another military package. And this time it's the Spanish Ration A3. Okay, this building is definitely a lot more falling apart. Also, look at this door. This is a prisoner door, isn't it? Who was kept in here? That is even creepier than I thought. And then what I also do is they sell you a make your own kombucha thing. So I have like this massive bottle. Now doing content usually comes with a couple of challenges, including not always being able to post as much as you'd like to post. And while I usually try to push myself to still make it anyway, given the fact that I'm not at home for the entirety of September, I'm just unable to edit anything right now. So instead I wanted to give you this, a sneak peek into things that I'm currently working on that will be coming out soon. Because the past couple of weeks and months, I've tried to make my content more dynamic, more out there, and just advancing it in a way, and I love a lot of the things that we've lately filmed. I just am not able to release them yet. And I don't know when that will happen. So any of the clips you're seeing, who knows when these videos will come out, but they will eventually. So as said, what a drop was founded in 2016 with the overall goal to revolutionize the soft drink market, whatever that exactly means. The glasses are kind of fancy. And this, this looks a lot fancier than it did before, doesn't it? And don't be mistaken, this is actually a wooden church, but it's decorated with slate because we're in the Slate Mountains. I really love this town because they seem to intermix a lot of styles of architecture. This is a light stuff. So today, I'm going to try military food from Britain. 
So because we had so many meatballs left over last night, we decided that we actually use our hot dog buns, which we also have way too many of, like 20 or 40 or something, and actually make like sandwiches with the meatballs on the hot dog buns. That's very unusual, I'm pretty sure, but you know. <laughs> hey son, it's the third day of eating IKEA food. However, then I had the thought, why not try something entirely new yet again? So I'm now letting my hair grow out. And honestly, what better to use for that than a brand new hair product that is technically catered to me. All right, so it's been a couple more days, a couple more washes, and I have some more thoughts on Function of Beauty so far. It's again one of these towers to walk up, and I'm not going up these towers, so I'm so happy I have a drone. I have personal history with this place, and there's actually been a video, which I'm gonna link above, that we filmed in this place where we tried to get here, but Google kind of didn't realize where the parking spot would be, so we ended up going through the forest for about three hours, even though it should only have taken us 10 minutes to get here. So that was fantastic. This is the weirdest way I've ever filmed <laughs> and the equipment I'm currently using is definitely not made to film like that but it's also his reply was we are in a pizza hut like dude like we oh. know that yeah this is what it looks like one two three and you get a sneak peek for them. Like you basically get, for example, a Pringles can of a flavor that's only supposed to come to the market in like a month or two or three. Today we're gonna eat kitchen wall. Literally half the banners on the wall. Right now we have the 10th of May and today's flavor of Fanta is grapefruit. <laughs> <laughs> well done! That was great! <laughs> and we have some food box for you. I don't really identify with anything gender-wise, but in the public perception I would be perceived as being male. At least by some people. Other people would probably argue I'm too feminine or whatever the hell. We decided that we actually want to make a video where we cook with Pringles, so we're basically making a breaded chicken today with crumbled Pringles. One of my common issues is that I just randomly edit things whenever I feel like. So, you know, that's why some of these videos might take a longer while to come out. Sometimes I edit a video six months later. And I don't think that matters for anyone except the fact that my hair colors keep changing randomly and it just doesn't make any sense. But if you want to watch in a chronological order how I film things and how things slowly progress into where they are now, there's a playlist on my channel that is in chronological order from, you know, the filmed part. So there it just makes more sense as an integrating certain elements into concepts that weren't there before and the like. But either way, I hope you stick around for the ride and for all the upcoming content and I hope to see you around. And until then, bye!